Well, good afternoon on this beautiful day in New England. It's, uh, it, it is nice outside. It actually feels a little bit warmer than it actually is because the last couple days have been a little chilly. It's nice out now. I'm driving around on my route, enjoying the day. Uh, not enjoying the work, just like everybody else in the world. Uh, a little bit of fun with the news. A Southern California woman, bear with me on this, and I will come out and say, I feel sorry for this lady if she if this really did happen. I don't know if this lady is, is sick or who knows, but if this really happened, I do feel sorry for her. I'm not joking around, but to hear the story, here we go. A lady from Southern California was at an Ikea, and I think she was with her mother, I'm not too sure. She was not too sure of age, but she had three children. And they were in the Ikea when she looked up and noticed a well-dressed man was kind of watching her family. And she looked up while her kids were playing on the couches or whatever. I mean, I'm sure just do, they weren't, I don't know, they were just being kids. And the guy, she looked and gave the guy kind of a smile and she says, that's just what I do. Uh, she then said that something in the sense of, um, I wish I had the story with me, but I, I'm driving. But uh, she said that this gentleman kept on watching her and then another man appeared and then another person appeared. And so she, I think she went into a section of Ikea where there was only one way in and one way out of the little zone she was in. And she really felt threatened. She thought they were human traffickers. <coughs> and I got a little stuff. Listen, a lot of crazy people out there. There always have been. There's a little bit more now because the population has gone up. I mean, I remember when in the 70s, when I was a kid in the late 70s, the milk cottons and the kids in the milk cottons and we knew if a car stopped you ran you ran you get out of there if, if a guy asked for directions you didn't approach the car you knew stay far away um that's what it was and now due to the fact there's more people there's more issues it's the world has always been an evil place and will continue it's up to us to uh avoid avoid this evil as much as we can but back to the story, she uh, claimed these guys were scouting out her family and they were going to attempt to take her family. Now, my thing is, one, why not, there's plenty of employees walking around Ikea, why not mention something to an employee? And two, we all have cell phones, why not take a picture? And I know, you know, taking a picture of someone you think is doing something wrong can usually ignite something so maybe just get on your phone and, and say I'm on my phone or call somebody call the desk of a Kia but they have so many cameras in these stores I've been up in some of the um, I used to work loss prevention years and years and years ago but today's technology they can actually read the serial numbers off your uh, dollar bills or your, your money and they can also um, you know, just like your phone. If you're in the aisle and you're under a camera, they can actually look at what you're looking at just to let you people know. So never stand in one place when you're in any store and like zoning out on your phone or if you're punching in numbers. They can see everything. So I had no idea why this lady didn't contact anybody. She went home, put it on Facebook that she was being, you know, scouted for human traffickers. But let me tell you a story that happened maybe 10 years ago to me. I was in my company vehicle on my break, maybe about nine o'clock morning. I did the same thing every morning. I went to my first stop, stayed some time there. I would grab a muffin, a coffee, a newspaper, and then take my 15 minute break. So I'm sitting in my company vehicle. I have my coffee on top of the dash and my paper, you can see that I'm reading my paper and my muffins on top also. Well, this lady pulls up in front of me like so we're facing each other and she's looking at me like who is this guy and I know you could tell she was talking about me because her daughter all of a sudden went from the back it was an SUV went from the back seat stood like kind of in the council and they were looking at me 
and I'm reading my paper. And I, you could see I had a paper because my paper was above the steering wheel. And I kind of looked up again and I go, wow, what are they looking at, you know? So they're, they're like watching me. So I just started my break. I was there first. So she pulled in like maybe two minutes after me. This person in front of me puts their directional on to take a left-hand turn and they go straight. Awesome. Great job with your driver's ed class. Um, so I go into the store before she does and I could see she's like, as she's going, she's looking at me, giving me like this look like, who are you? Like, okay, all right, I'm sorry, but a man's going to the supermarket. Bing, red flag. So now I, I, I'm dressed in black pants, black coat, and I'm going in there and I go to my first little section right at the entranceway and I'm writing down what I need and she uh she's really like looking at me and she's holding on she's looking at me with that look did everyone knows what I mean by that look well then I go over to the, another department in the store I'm writing down what I need and there she is and she turns the corner she sees me again and she's like oh my god there he is again now mind you she's following me not the other way around which I could see if it was the other way around I could understand that fully understand this so then I go to the next aisle and Guess what happens again? There she is, but I'm stalking her. And she's following me, but because she's following me, she's she's got an issue. So, yep, now I get the person behind me, they, they think I'm uh, talking to myself, which is awesome. So, um, so, she goes up to the manager who I knew, and says, I have a guy following me in the store. So the manager goes, I, you know, he, I could hear him as he's getting close. Well, where is he? What was he wearing? She was dressed all in black. He's dressed. I don't know what he's doing. He's like, he's hiding. And I see him. Well, okay. Okay. So, mind you now, I'm trying to get this quick. Dickhead, you stop there. And you give me the look like, okay, go ahead. And then I go, and then he speeds up. So, um, so as I sit there, and she, she, so he turns the car and starts laughing. Oh, I know who he is, blah, blah, blah. It goes on and on. She's like, well, you never know. You never know. And I look, and I go, man, you were following me. So as I was talking to the gentleman about this, he even said the same thing. He went up to see the tape because he was laughing. So he went up to watch the tape and goes, hey, it was funny. He goes, because you could see how she's she's following you and she accuses you of stalking her. And she wasn't mad at me when she knew who I was. But my point is, you know, we, we always think, it's like like I tell people, like my wife, when, like toy shopping. And I tell my wife over and over and over again, I go, um... I go, you gotta understand, like, when I go to the toy department, I go, you know, people see a guy in a toy department, they don't sit back and go, oh, wow, he's shopping for his kid. The first thing they say is, what is this guy doing? Why is this guy, you know, sitting around the toy department? Well, probably because I'm shopping, but I, I can understand the red flags that are going up. So it is kind of odd. Uh, I'll give you an idea, too. Target. Any guy that goes into Target... Next time you're there with your wife, notice there's not a lot of women, I mean men, that are in the store. So when you're a single guy and you go into Target, you will uh, you will notice the red flags will go up. They'll, you'll hear the mother, Johnny, Johnny, get over here, Johnny. Oh, stand right next to me. And, and I know people are going to say, well, you can never be too careful. I, I, I understand that. But, you know, they say never judge a book by its cover. But let's put it this way. If I'm walking down the street out in the suburbs and this dog's coming at me, teeth are growing out, he's, he's big and he's coming at me, I'm going to judge that book by its cover and pretty much assume that that's not the dog I want to be patting. <laughs> so, yes, we all judge books by the cover. I mean, we say we don't, but we do. And it's just a, nat just a, it's a natural thing. It's like you, you do, but... I'm just saying, though, if that story was true in Southern California, I feel sorry for the lady. But if, it, if it's something she made up just to get out into the public media, um, shame on you. But you should have called security. Keep your heads up. That's about it. I had to get it out there. And, wow, 10 minutes almost went by with this little, little skit. So take it easy and have a good day.